This is me on Swain's Lane on Saturday morning. Today, 18th of October. It gets horrendously steep. <laughs> so, that's when I start to suffer. It's not too bad to be honest. Suffer is a strong word. I take that back. <laughs> I'm in the easiest gear on my bike. <laughs> it's not a big enough chain ring at the back. So I can't spin, I have to kind of grind. <sighs> Jeez. So I've had, um, I'd say around 14 or 15, maybe 16 bananas today. Uh, I had about six before I went on my ride. It's an hour, hour and 10 minute ride up the hills. I should enter some footage so you'll probably see that. And around Regent's Park once, all in London. Um, came back, had around eight, nine, possibly 10 bananas in a smoothie. Hit it back, went down really quickly. Because um, I was very hungry after my ride. Yeah, and it's what, 10, 10.30 now? No, 10. Um, I'm gonna do some drawing, lie on my floor, listen to some music. Um, yeah, the drawing is the main bit for me today because it's the weekend, I can do what I want, so I draw, <laughs> which is what I do in the week. Now I'm in the bath. Have you a little wash? I just wanted to make a quick note um, and just say that the, well, since going vegan, um, 18 months ago, whatever it was, the best thing I've got is not necessarily my, you know, fitness on the bike, say, or my, my, what else would you get from it? Lack of, lack of illness. I mean, that's obviously really helpful, but you don't really think about it too much. It tends to take it for granted. Um, but the best thing I've, I've noticed is that I've got the energy and the, the purpose and the sort of clarity of mind to be able to do what I want, um, in a day. Whereas before I was, trying to do stuff, but I didn't have the energy, my back was hurting, um, and I had to lie down or like have a coffee or, you know, do something weird to get myself motivated and actually do it. And it was a lot more confusing. Whereas I feel now as though if I eat more and I eat right, I can do what I want. The problem with that is that, you know, it's not a perfect system. Sometimes I mess up. I won't organize my fruit. So for example, yesterday I ran out bananas I had to eat some crap in a place called Oaxaca, which is just miserable, the portions were tiny. And that really sapped me, so I was knackered by about seven in the evening, which wasn't really good enough, and it felt a bit annoying. But if I'd had the right bananas and the right fruit, I would've been fine. Um, and that's what's great, because you, go, you know, I'm I'm a really keen guitarist, I love drawing, and I love cycling. And they're, they're all things which take up a lot of energy, um, as does anything, apart from basically watching TV and listening to the radio. Um, and it's been great being able to do that. So I've gone for my ride this morning at eight o'clock in the morning. I have my bath. Um, I've been drawing when I was stretching. And now I'm gonna hit some more drawing um, while my rice cooks for lunch or whatever I have. I might have some bananas, um, which is really exciting because I couldn't plan my days before. Whereas now I can think, you know, I plan my day. I think I'll do cycling in the morning. I'll draw for three or four hours. Then I'll go out and get some, some stuff. Lunch maybe, I imagine it's food. And then I'll play the guitar for a little bit and then I'll see my friend. Whereas before, I could do one thing, maybe do some drawing for three hours. Then my back would hurt. I'd have to go to bed or have a coffee, and I, I wouldn't know how I was going to feel. Whereas when you're, you're eating right, you can have a consistency with how you feel. And because, the sort of, especially with vegan, veganism, what I'm doing, 
the kind of the range of foods that I eat, it might sound like a bad thing for a lot of people, but the range is quite small. So you can actually predict how you're going to feel. Whereas if you're going around the, the world, you know, eating whatever you want, it's going to be a sort of cacophony of feelings that you're going to get um, and emotions. Because you don't know, you could eat something strange that doesn't agree with you. Or you could not eat enough because you're eating too much protein, too much fat, so you cut down the carbs. I don't know. Um, whereas it's great because I feel very consistent about what I eat. And so long as I'm keeping to that same pattern, I know how I'm going to feel, which is going to be good. So it means I can plan in those three things, cycling, um, drawing, and playing the guitar, which is fantastic because I feel like that's what I like dreaming about. That's what I think about when I plan my life. And when I kind of envisage what I want to happen, that's what I think about. And the, the feeling that I know I can do that when I come to the point where I can do it, I have the time, it's just brilliant. I, I wouldn't trade in any tasty hamburger or, you know, hot dogs or God knows what everyone eats, um, shrimp, shrimp and mash. I wouldn't trade in any of that, even fish. I love sushi, but I wouldn't trade it in because now I can do what I want with my time, which is far more important than that, you know, hour long meal in a day, which is, yeah, granted, really tasty. It's not like I don't think about pork chops and cutlets <laughs> every once and then. Um, but I, I just do the little calculation in my head. Do I want this or do I want that? Do I want the consistency in my, my training, in my, my mood, in my energy levels? Do I want that consistency, those three things there? Or do I want lamb chops with cheese sauce? For me, it's like a no-brainer. But I, I, I understand I'm in a different position because I had my, my life kind of fast forward when I had my back accident. And it meant that I had to decide pretty quickly. It was either sit on my ass, lie down being miserable, or sort out my diet, um, and do what I want. You know, it's been an amazing ascent for me because, like I say, I said before, in the last four years, I've been really suffering with my health, my fitness, my energy levels, my moods. It's been really, really tough. Um, and this is what's helped me claw my way out of it. And two years ago, I couldn't sit on a bike. I couldn't walk for more than 800 yards, 500 yards, without feeling some, you know, visit to the doctor worthy pain. Whereas now, you know, I'm walking all over the place. The other night I walked two miles to football, played for an hour and 20, two miles back. That's only two years after um, I'm on this feed, 18 months after this feed, um, Vietnamese, this vegan diet, as you know, I've started it. So it's been miraculous. It's not just the veganism, but I think that was the starting block and that was the, the core of what has changed me. And from that mental clarity, sense of purpose, energy levels, consistent, drive, all these things, like there's such a nice feeling. <laughs> Pretty proud of that. And there you have it, this is all vegan sushi. I used no oil when I cooked the carrots and the asparagus. All I did was put it in uh, hot water. You don't actually need oil, which is what I, something I discovered. Oil is just, it, obviously it tastes pretty good if you're hungry. Um, like it's, it's like quite a, it's a flavor as opposed to water. Um, but you don't really need it. You can replace, in my experience, you can replace it with water. Uh, obviously that's if you're doing vegetables. Uh, but yeah, 